Hi. Hi. I'm Abraham Hyatt, uh, at Abraham Hyatt on Twitter. I'm going to talk about five reasons partisan media, um, both on the left and right, are a good thing. It's specifically about Fox News. Choke up on that. Uh, if we're going to talk about partisan media, we're going to talk about, um, we're going to have to go back to the founding fathers. Um, back then, at the inception of the country, uh, uh, all newspapers were partisan. Uh, they were all um, backed by political parties, uh, and they would have put Fox News to shame. Uh, the, there you got a nice uh, Fox News-esque um, tagline. Um, by the 1890s, um, we start to see an increase in objectivity um, in the media. Um, publishers realized that um, by doubling their readers, they could double their advertisers. The 1950s, um, birth of TV news, objectivity um, was a standard sort of across the board by that point in time. So what's the difference between objective and subjective media? Um, aside from all the very obvious things, um, E.J. Dionne, uh, who writes for the Washington Post, uh, has this delineation that the objective media is immobilizing. Um, it creates a, a passive consumer. Whereas the subjective media uh, is mobilizing. It's a mobilizing medium. Um, and it asks you to be involved. So that's reason number one. Um, it takes you, um, it tells you that the fight matters. You know, that you are no longer just a passive consumer. Um, uh, and uh, uh, number two, um, it's a sandbox. Uh, it's one side can play with new ideas uh, or the things that will someday become core precepts of their, um, of their platform. Uh, it's not always just an echo chamber, um, a way for uh, party leaders to hand down dogma. Um, while that's true for Fox, it's also conversation um, between um, commentators and pundits. Um, and that's actually really powerful um, for the public uh, who watches this, um, because it brings them into the thinking process. Um, yeah, they're not necessarily active participants, um, but it takes it from being a two-dimensional way of thinking about um, the news to a four-dimensional four perspective. Uh, number three, um, they partner, quote unquote, with the effective media. Fox News didn't have the New York Times, I don't know what they would do. Um, the um, partisan media is very dependent um, on the traditional media uh, for their source of news. Um, it's because they uh, do very little reporting on their own. Um, they're dependent on their affiliates for material, um, some of uh, their own live feeds, perhaps, that they do occasionally. Um, so where do they go? They go to some very traditional or some very familiar sources. Um, I'm not saying that their reliance on these uh, names are somehow going to save newspapers, um, but it does reinforce the importance of fact-based journalism for their viewers. Uh, number four, the exact opposite of what I just said. Um, people blame the internet for the death of the newspaper industry, but the death uh, initially started really in the 1980s. Um, with the failure of the newspaper industry to adapt to the quickness of the 24-hour news cycle. And the, during the, the amount of time that the newspapers um, took their biggest hit in circulation, Fox News became the most watched um, broadcast company. It's not a directly causal relationship, um, but it's a very good relationship. <laughs> Number five, last one, clowns are funny. <laughs> if you're having fun, and you're paying attention. It might not be the best news um, that you're paying attention to, but you're still paying attention to the news. Now, while all of this said, as we all know, Fox is a horrible, often despicable media outlet. Um, and in fact, uh, American journalism as a whole right now is at its lowest point ever. Um, our, our traditional media right now has, has not, doesn't even have a backbone to, to uh, to stand up to a malfeasant presidential um, administration, it hasn't been able to protect us uh, from the industries that destroyed our economy. Um, there are, are media critics out there like, like Cass Sunstein or, or Robert McChesney who, who blame the fall of the media on the rise of partisan journalism. Uh, and I see that point and, and agree with them. But I would say that we have to remember that the partisan media is not going to go away. Um, we can't put the Fox News genie back in the bottle. Um, and so we, we might hate sort of these viciously partisan elements on both the left and the right. Um, their ability to energize, and use that word again, mobilize the viewer or reader, um, in the end may make us slightly stronger democracy. 
Thank you very much.